am so excited to tell you about a new pattern that I just released. And even though it is October right now, it's bookie time and I never want to skip that. I am a big believer of Halloween and giving the season their time. We're also approaching the holiday season. And as a knitter, I know that if I want to knit anything for the winter or for gifts for the holidays, I got to start soon. And that's why I prepare myself to release the pattern right now so that you would have enough time to knit it for the holidays if that's what you would like to do. And this is the Nochebuena pullover. So you might not know what the word Nochebuena is in the title of this pattern. It means uh, Christmas Eve in Spanish. But Nochebuena doesn't just mean Christmas Eve. It is also the name of this flower, which you might know by the name Ponceria flower. But what you might not know is that this is actually a Mexican flower in origin. And in, in Spanish, we call it Nochebuena or Christmas Eve because it's usually available around that time of the year. And I feel like globally or at least in a lot of countries now uh, not just in mexico it is um, synonymous with holidays and christmas time so i was inspired by that because it's of mexican origin just like me and because i love the flower itself it's just so beautiful i always love getting one uh, around the holiday time getting a plant and you can see that the design itself has those that style of flower as part of the color work. Another reason that I ended up doing a holiday pattern is because I was invited to participate in the challenge by Hobby called The Christmas Tale, in which uh, they wanted us to design something inspired by the holiday season and holiday colors and, and anything that you know goes to mind when you think about Christmas or holidays. And the first thing that came to mind for me was, again, the Noche Buena. So I really, I really wanted to use that flower pattern on something. And then the other thing that I was inspired is also vintage patterns. So I've been looking at a lot of uh, vintage sweaters, specifically from the 1940s, that were using color work. And I saw a lot of this style where the, the top of the sweater is one color, then you have some sort of color work happening, and then the color work flips halfway, and then the, the main color becomes the supporting color or the the second color, and then the secondary color becomes the main color, which is kind of hard to explain, but you can see it on the pattern itself. So the idea is that you start knitting with one color, then you start your color work with the second color, and then you flip those. So you end up with like a two-tone situation. Uh, I try to do it as close as possible as like the, those 1940s patterns, which with, with um, that type of body shape where uh, they're a little more close to the, to the, to the, they're a little cinched at the waist and um, those usually have a little bit of a puff on the sleeves. I didn't add that because I also wanted this to be a very easy, pa easy pattern for the modern knitter so that you don't have to sew anything. So it is knit in one piece, top, bottom, uh, obviously starting at the, uh, the neckline. And uh, it is a raglan sweater, but I also wanted the raglan not to be super visible. It's I want it to be as invisible as possible. So I, I use a special type of stitch that if you've never used it for raglan, it's very easy, it's an increase. And I actually have a video in my channel so that if you've never done this type of stitch, you can easily follow that. And um, I also made another video, which I'm also gonna link below, that shows you how to do once you get to the raglan increases and the color work at the same time because it can be a little confusing it's not hard if you've done color work before and if you've done raglan sweaters before you should be all right but basically the way that this works is that um, you start the chart and the chart is the flower it repeats you start the chart at each one of the sections because it's raglan, it's divided in the sleeve sections and the front and the back. So when you start the front, for example, you start the chart, you do it all the way to the end, you do your raglan increases, um, and then you start the next section, the sleeve, and you start the chart from the beginning. So you're not really trying to match uh, at, the, at the raglan seams uh, the charts with each other. I, I realized that it didn't really matter. It looked good without it and I think it looks good. So it's not that hard to do. All you really need is know how to do raglan and color work and you're good to go knitting in the round. 
And I am really happy with how this sweater turned out. It is exactly what I was imagining. I, I worked on it for all summer, which was really funny, working on a Christmas pattern during the summer. But I, I really am happy with the inspiration from the 40s, the colors that I chose, which are all hobby yarn. I, I was very kindly gifted yarn by Hobby. If you've never heard of Hobby, they're a really cool uh, yarn brand that has a lot of different types of yarn and a lot of different colors so it's a great yarn they're pretty well priced and i decided to use the their yarn called highland wool which is 100 percent wool and it, it's not that rough it's actually pretty soft and i liked it because it looked good for color work and i was right the color work looks amazing with it and they have a beautiful range of colors so I, I was able to find what I was looking for, which, which was this combination of like a, a crimson kind of red, reddish wine color, and then like a not quite white, but more like beige, um, egg white type of color. I, again, I'm so happy with how it ended up. I um, cannot wait to wear this all Christmas season. I, I, I always want to wear it right now. Oh, and the sleeves, the construction of the sleeves, um, also, it's three quarter sleeves and long sleeves in the pattern, so you can decide. Uh, I know the three quarter sleeve is not for everybody. Uh, the, I, the reason I wanted that is, you know, you want I wanted kind of a lighter type of pullover. I believe this is uh, DK weight, so it's pretty light and has a very nice drape. Uh, and also, the 1940s patterns that I was inspired by usually have that like shorter type of sleeve it's not usually like a long sleeve so that's why i was going for the three-quarter sleeve but i am also giving you the option of doing a full long sleeve if you want if you're not like really into that so you have those two options in the pattern it's also very easy to adjust adjust the length um again it has some uh, shaping at the waist but if you want to keep going after that and make it a little bit longer that's fine it is meant to be uh, worn mostly close to the body and uh, not a lot of ease but if you want like to have some ease you can always size up so that is the Noche Buena pattern I am again super excited to make it available for you and it is it is released, it's, it's available right now. You can get it on Etsy, you can get it on Ravelry, whatever you prefer, and it will also be available on Hobby. I'm not sure if by the time I post this, it, it will, but once it is, I will update the link below as well if you wanna get it on Hobby. The nice thing about them is that they, they actually set up the pattern uh, with the yarn, so you can buy basically a kit to make this exact pattern in the size that you wanna make it. And I always try to be as inclusive as possible with my uh, sizing. And so um, this comes with from XS to 5XL. So there are so many sizes um, to choose from. And yeah, so you can get it on Hobby, you can get it on Ravelry, or you can get it on Etsy. If you get it on Ravelry on Etsy or Etsy uh, this week and up until October 26, 2024, whenever you're watching this, uh, that's the end of the sale I'm gonna have for a new pattern release. So if you wanna get this pattern with 30% off, all you gotta do, do is use the code RELEASE and either Etsy or Ravelry and you will get it discounted up until October 26. So that if you wanna knit this for the holidays, you have just enough time and it is a very quick knit, I will say. I mean, at least it went quickly for me, other than the designing part that takes a little bit longer. But again, I am so happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really nice when I'm wearing it. And I kind of want to make another one maybe with a different color combination. That's the fun part. I have pictures of some of my testers and they also chose different color co coordination. I always love my testers and the way they get super creative with the colors. And again, Hobby, if you want to get Hobby yarn for the pattern, which is the same one I used, you can get it in the link below and you can see all the different colors that they have if you don't want to make it as Christmassy. Uh, one of my testers did it in like a black and blue and I thought it looked a little bit like Star Trek. And if you know my channel, I, you know I'm a big Trekkie fan, fan. So I really like that option. Uh, so yeah, that's the Noche Buena pattern. Um, I hope you enjoy it if you buy it. 
and in, let me know what your thoughts are and if you would like me to make more patterns. I don't really use patterns very often, to be honest. It's a lot of work and I am trying to get better and better at designing them in a way that, you know, it's very easy to understand and that has a lot of sizes and uh, works, but it is a lot of work, so I don't release them very often. So I, I really uh, encourage you to try this pattern out. But if you're not into like holiday type of patterns, I do have other patterns in my library of patterns from accessories to um, other type of tops that, you know, don't have color work or to have other details. I have summer patterns, I have winter patterns, and um, I even have a Halloween pattern. If you've never seen this, the spinster cardigan, that's also available. So check out my patterns if you've never seen them before, and let me know what you would like me to design next. I have lots of ideas, but sometimes, you know, something strikes and I really wanna try it. I, I love doing something like this that has kind of like a vintage inspiration, and I would love to get your thoughts on what other patterns you would like to see. But don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more of my future patterns or other videos. Again, I also have tutorials that will help you along with most of my patterns. So check out those out as well. And other than that, I will see you on the next one. And happy knitting!